I can't even stand in these shoes. Welcome to the unofficial Royal Mail sorting office. Don't say that, now I'm scared. Ooh, wow, that setting spray really let me down. Look, it's giving flying by the seat of her pants at 125 miles per hour. Why am I this way? What was my word of 2024 supposed to be? Does anyone remember? It was the opposite of erratic. Like I was going for cool, calm and collected and it's just not panning out that way so far. Hey friends, welcome back to the vlog and my crazy life. For those of you who are new, don't get scared off. It's not always this way. Just like 95% of the time. My name's Amy Rebecca. I am an average girl who is working on creating the life of her dreams. And to be completely frankly honest, has absolutely no idea what she's doing. Would love to have like the that girl vibe, but I just have the hot mess express vibe instead. If you can relate, I think this is the place for you, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. The drama this week has been so intense. So many things have gone on, so many things have gone wrong, so many things are just... <sighs> It's a lot. It's been a lot. I can't even delve into all of that right now because I got home 30 minutes ago. I have 10 minutes to eat, get dressed, touch up whatever is going on with my face, and then go and pick up my niece because for her Christmas present, I got her tickets for us to go on a ghost tour or like a ghost walk around St. Fagans, which is the museum. It used to be called the Museum of Welsh Life. I think they changed it. Anyway, it's this big outdoor museum where they've taken historical buildings from all around the country and put them in one place. So really old creepy buildings, I guess would have ghosts. I don't know, we're gonna go and find out. My one hope is that it is so scary that she kinda cries. That might sound harsh, but this child from birth has never been afraid of anything, ever. And I just feel like we should all experience fear. <laughs> I experienced so much fear in my life and I, I, I need her to experience that too. That makes me sound so mean, but I'm not sorry. <laughs> it's raining, pouring, gross. Oh, my food is ready. I'm gonna eat the food, get dressed, go. Yes, F food, dress, dress, food, food, dress, then go. Oh my gosh, this is wild. We made it. Yay. We actually made it really early despite the fact that i was yeah. running around like a crazy person trying to get here so now we're just chilling in the car park are you excited yeah i don't know i'm kind of scared what if like a demon just pops up don't say that now i'm scared actually i'm the demon i'm the demon <laughs> that's not untrue <laughs> but lauren just told me that this is her best christmas present yeah it is would you say like top five of all time Christmas presents? Yeah, like top one, like best Christmas present ever. Oh my gosh, that's I'm... so good. Now it's all downhill from here though. Why? Because how am I ever gonna top this? I better start planning this year's Christmas present now. I say we go to another haunted place. Okay, yeah, we could do that. Yeah. We could do that. That's, I can make that work. We have Boy. 20 minutes. 20 minutes until ghosts. <gasps> well, they're all getting out. They're very eager. Coming to you live with my certified uncool hat. I like my hat. Apparently these hats are uncool. Bosh, bosh, bosh. I have this in three colors. Some of us are too cool for hats and too cool for coats. <laughs> no, 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 no. Warmth is uncool now. Did you know? Did you get the memo? I need to show off the Daz merch. I need to show off the merch. Should I know what that is? Show it off. St strut. Slay queen. <laughs> right, we have five minutes until it goes tall. Would you mirror selfie? I'm not tall enough for that mirror. Welcome to the unofficial Royal Mail sorting office. This is about one third of the packages that have come through this house in the last 48 hours and I'm gonna tell you why. First off, let me just say that the ghost tour was a screaming success. Literally screaming because I did 
literally scream. It was a really difficult thing to vlog, firstly because they don't allow you to record when they're actually telling the ghost stories and like guiding you through telling you the history because obviously they want you to go and pay for that stuff. They don't want people to record it and put it out on the internet, which is fair enough. But also when you're just moving around the museum, it's pitch black. We had our little torches, but it was still very dark. One of the guides said that on a few occasions, people in the tour would take photos and videos and then they'd look back on them later and they'd see something spooky in the background. So I'm kind of terrified actually to look back at that vlog footage because what if there's a ghost behind me? I would not like that at all. I'm very pleased to announce that my niece was scared. So my work here is done as an auntie, to be completely honest. She did get me back though because at one point we were in pitch darkness in the middle of the castle, like right underneath the grand staircase where we'd already had all of these stories about this woman in white who'd been seen gliding down the staircase. There had been, you know, reports of a figure leaning over the banister. So I was already like a nine out of 10 for a fear factor. And then we were standing in the dark and I kind of looped my arm through my nieces because I didn't want her to feel afraid. And also I was afraid. So I needed that moral support. And then she like brushed her fingers against me and I almost died. I screamed, the people next to me screamed. The tour guide flipped on his torch and he was like, is everyone okay? And I'm like, sorry, I'm just a big baby. It was so much fun though. And Lauren, my niece, she said that for Christmas from now on, she wants a ghost tour in different locations. And one day we want to go to the Winchester Mystery House. Well, she said she wants to go. She didn't actually invite me. I invited myself. Anyway, I'm going to go and dampen up my beauty sponge and we are going to have a conversation. <laughs> okay, so for context, if you didn't know, I am competing in my first ever beauty pageant next week. It's the national final of the Ms. Galaxy UK pageant. I'm just trying to do more things in life that push me out of my comfort zone, and this is so far out of my comfort zone that I may as well be on a different planet, to be completely honest. So back in January, I reached out to a company that makes like prom dresses, evening wear, bridesmaid dresses, that kind of thing. It's called JJ's House, and I've worked with them in the past. We did a gifted collaboration back when I lived in Bahrain. We did two actually and I really loved their dresses. They were such great quality and such an affordable price. In fact, when my friend got engaged, I recommended that she use JJ's house for her bridesmaids dresses and she did and everyone loved them. So I reached out and asked if they would be interested in doing another collaboration where I could wear their dresses in the beauty pageant. So we came to an agreement on that. Everything was looking good. I chose a dress for my opening number, a dress for the white party, a ball gown, and I don't even remember. It was so freaking long ago that I put in this order. I can't remember what the fourth dress was. Oh, a dress for my interview, because you have to have an interview as well. And then, what do you know? I have another evening wear company reach out to me and offer me a gifted collaboration. This was a newer company called Glam Laura. Glam, Glam Laura. Glam, Glam Laura. Why is that so difficult for me to say? Now, it is very rare that I will accept a gifted collaboration, because what a lot of people don't tell you is that you actually have to pay tax on anything that you're gifted. So you end up losing money if you're not being paid but it was going to be cheaper for me to just pay the tax than go out and buy a bunch of clothes for all of these different rounds of the pageant like who knew that you needed so many clothes for a beauty pageant probably everyone except me i don't know now i'd obviously never heard of this company before because it was brand new but i looked them up on trustpilot i uh, looked at some of the reviews that were coming up on youtube and tiktok and it seemed legit i ordered another four dresses with them and i was covered for every aspect of the pageant weekend, all my dresses. Now I want you to bear in mind that all of this hap happened in January. The turnaround time for JJ's house for custom dresses, I think is 30 days and then five to 10 shipping days on top of that. And for Glam Laura, it was a little less. I think it was like 16 days turnaround time and then five to 10 on delivery. So I thought, wonderful, all of these dresses are gonna arrive in plenty of time in case they need to be altered or if they're not quite right, if I need to get a backup. For the first time in my life, I am gonna be prepared. I'm not gonna be scrambling around like a chicken with his head cut off, trying to get everything together at the last minute. And yet, here I am. I got an email from Glam Laura last month to let me know that they were a little bit behind on my dresses, but I would get them by the 8th of March. And I was like, that's still plenty of time. Then I was chasing up with JJ's house to find out like 
but the situation with the dresses coming from there and they told me that there wasn't going to be a problem they would ship them out as soon as possible and then I got an email from JJ's house last week to let me know there was no possible way that the dresses were going to arrive on time like they just weren't going to be finished and could I instead choose some dresses off the rack that they could ship in 48 hours. Now I started to freak out a little bit because for each category of the pageant you need to wear a very specific type of dress like they'll tell you the length, they'll tell you the colour you can wear, they'll you know it's it's not like you can just wear whatever and as much as they had beautiful dresses on offer within their ready to ship range I really struggled to find what would be suitable in terms of length and colour in my size and not just that they were off the rack and based on the sizing guide that they sent me I wasn't gonna fit in anything anyway I just have really weird proportions I don't know so I had to choose four new dresses um, only one of which I would actually be able to use during pageant weekend providing that it fit but it's okay because Glam Laura was still sending me dresses right we had a backup Whew. Good thing they were sending me four dresses. I kind of panicked after the JJ's house situation and so I emailed Glam Laura and I was like, just to make sure that these dresses are coming, right? She said, oh, they've been a little bit delayed again, but they will definitely get there before the 18th. We're pushing it now because I'm leaving for this pageant on the 22nd. So that doesn't leave a lot of time for alterations or for things to go wrong, but I was just like, at least they're coming. At least they're gonna be here in time. Until they weren't. <laughs> Because then I got another email from Glam Laura to let me know that the dresses would probably most likely be here by maybe the 22nd, maybe the 23rd. At which point I will be in Warrington at the pageant. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I went from having eight dresses to having none with like 10 days before the pageant. And I cried my little eyes out about it, okay? I've been so wildly stressed. I was literally gonna drop out of the pageant. Like I had an email drafted asking if they could defer my entry to next year because obviously my sponsor, Phoenix Talk Therapy, she's paid, Tina has paid my place. And I, I didn't wanna just back out and then that money just is for no reason. So I was like, maybe they can defer it. If not, I'm gonna have to refund her. And I had all of this going on in my brain because I was thinking there is no way. There is no way that I can replace all those dresses in 10 days to such strict specifications and with no money because my car broke down last month. Again, shout out to my mom who talked some sense into me and told me, no, you are not dropping out. We are gonna make this work. And shout out to Royal Mail Next Day Delivery because I have at this point ordered around 30 dresses and suits and different outfits and I had to go and buy a brand new ball gown. Now there is still a minor chance that my JJ's house and Glam Laura orders will be here in time but I just I couldn't there's no way I could just wait and see and hope and maybe they get there like the day I'm traveling to the pageant you know because what if they didn't fit what if they weren't any good what if they didn't get here for the first time in my life I felt like I was really on top of things and then it all came crumbling down around me I have three more deliveries coming today and um then I think as long as everything fits and looks okay I should have everything covered except the dress for the white party I can't express to you how stressful this has been. So I'm gonna finish up doing my makeup and then I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I've got. This one came this morning and it has some options for interview dresses. Very pink. Okay, it's giving Barbie. And that is exactly what I wanted it to give. So all of these are from Roman, which is not somewhere that I've personally ever shopped from before. I know my mom gets a lot of her stuff there and I wish I had gone there first because after days and days of trying to find something appropriate, I went on their website and they had like the exact style I was looking for. Option number one is this kind of stretchy wrap over number that might be very long on me. Being five foot two is a curse. Option number two has a little bit more of a frill situation. I don't know, we need to try them on and see. There's not enough space in this room for a try on haul at the best of times and now it's full of clothes. So we're working with what we've got. This is the shorter of the two options, and I love the length on this. However, it's too big. I haven't been able to zip it up all the way, but I can just feel on my waist. <sighs> they didn't have this one in my size, so that's a no, which is very annoying because 
That would have been perfect. Okay, option number two. Again, I can't zip it up by myself, single girl problems, but it fits perfectly on my body. I love the way it looks. It's very flattering. However, you can't even, <laughs> you can't even see the bottom of it. Let me lower the camera. Like, it's very long on such a short girly. And I don't know if it looks like I'm dressing up in my mom's clothes because of how long it is, or if it just looks as sophisticated like midi. Does it look like it's meant to be this long? Let me put some shoes on with it. If I had shoes on... Ah! Oh my god! I have to go on stage and walk in front of people on the weekend. And I can't even stand in these shoes. I think that could work. Okay, I think it might do. Okay, so that's potential maybe interview dress. This is my opening number dress. Ta -da! Again, I know I'm on my tippy toes and you can't quite see the bottom. This room is just not super conducive to try on hauls, but look how sparkly I am. This one came from Quiz and I got it in the sale, which your girl was needing a little bit of good luck financially <laughs> with all of these dresses being purchased. And it was $24.99, which I think is a bargain. And this week you could win a TV! Like, the price is right. You are not gonna believe what just arrived. My order from JJ's house. I'm kinda scared to open it, I don't know why. I thought this was gonna be the fashion wear dress that I ordered that is also gonna be coming today, but I opened up the box and I recognized the uh, white sequin dress and I was like, oh no, I know what that is. So this is the new white party dress that I ordered because obviously the one that I initially ordered couldn't be sent out. I'm gonna show you that lace up close because it is absolutely beautiful. It's so sparkly and it's got little butterflies in it. Of all these dresses, this is the one that really needs to fit because when my initial order from JJ's house, I found out that wasn't gonna make it in time. I went out and I bought another opening number dress, another ball gown, another interview dress. Obviously that is still pending. I have like 20 of them strewed out across the bed. But I haven't been able to find another white party dress. So if this fits, the day will be saved. It fits and it's perfect. This is exactly the kind of dress that I wanted to wear to the white party. I actually think I prefer this to the original dress that I chose in that first order I placed with JJ's house. I think this one is just much more appropriate because it's got the glitz. See the way it just shimmers as I move? Oh my gosh, I love it. Then we have this teal evening gown. It looks huge when I'm holding it like this, but that's just because it's not laced up at the back. This is actually really pretty and I feel like it's gonna be really flattering on. Look at that little split. Now again, it is too long for me because I'm very short. It's also too big here at the back because there's a little zip for the bottom part. Let me show you a little bit closer so you can see all the detailing. You've got the boning in the front. You've got this ruffling here, which I find to be very flattering with the sweetheart neckline. Color is stunning. By the way, I will link all of these dresses in the description box. I love it but it doesn't fit. This next one I thought could be a contender as an interview dress. It's really pretty, but I think it's gonna be too small. May I now introduce you to the TARDIS of dresses? Because when I was holding this up against me, it looked so tiny and I thought there was no way I was gonna be able to zip it up. And it is in fact huge. Look, it's very pretty, it's very feminine. It has all the elements that I love in a little cocktail dress. I love the one shoulder detail. I love the way that it has like gathering and some ruffles here because that's very flattering. It just <laughs> does not fit. And the final one is another evening wear dress. And like, you can't see the full thing here, but it is absolutely stunning. Like this overlay, again, with the leaf pattern and all the sparkles. It's very pretty. This is absolutely stunning and I'm kind of upset about how much I love this because it doesn't fit. Like it's far too big for me and I can't, you can't see but it's far too long for me. It would need to have probably about five or six inches off the bottom and then the waist, I mean that would need to be taken in a lot. But if it fit, it would be stunning. Like if I had time to tailor this before the pageant, which I absolutely don't at this point. And if I hadn't gone out and bought a ball gown, then 
I would wear this on stage. It's just a shame because if this had come like custom to my proportions and if they, they'd been able to like do that in the time frame then it would have been perfect but oh well. I feel exhausted after all of that. I don't care what anyone says, trying on clothes is physically taxing. I'm so glad we have a winner with the white party dress. I'm excited to wear that. I love the way I feel in it and it's just perfect. And I will just say that I do love the quality of the JJ's house dresses. They're really well made. The fabric is beautiful. And for the price, I mean, it's a bargain. I would just say make sure that you get your orders in plenty ahead of time like don't leave it to the last minute make sure that there's plenty of time for them to make them make sure you leave time for things to go wrong make sure you leave plenty of time for shipping make sure you leave time in case they come and you need alterations you don't have enough time then you're gonna be running around like a headless chicken like me <laughs> okay so at this point in time i feel like my brain is too full like it's overloaded there is no space for anything else in there so i'm gonna make myself a little packing list hoping that that will reduce some of the cognitive load and also because I really need a packing list I'm gonna be taking so much stuff with me love that my packing list is five pages long I'm gonna need a small convoy of vehicles for me to take all of this stuff with me Okay, let me show you my outfit. <laughs> In amongst the chaos. Hey! I'm going to Cardiff today with my cousin. We're gonna get some food and some drinks and then we're gonna go watch Disney on Ice. <laughs> why do you look like you're about to go head to head with Mr. Miyagi right now? Let me explain. So I've been wearing these frownies facial patches at night. The idea is they stop your muscles from moving, kind of like Botox but temporary. Overnight is just not enough. I need this 24 hours a day. And then the headband is there to just like reinforce that the muscle really cannot move at all. I know, I know, it's ridiculous, I know. I am just gonna get some editing done today. Look, the sun is out, it's beautiful. I wanna go for a run but I have so much work to do. I'm so behind on literally every aspect of my life. All I've been doing for the last few days is just like pageant stuff. No matter how many times I tidy up this room, it's always a mess because of the sheer rapidity with which new packages are coming through the door. Packages for the pageant. Packages, packages, packages. I really don't cope well with mess and I'm trying to stay on top of it, but every time I turn around, there's something new. Okay, I'm gonna go for a run and then I'm gonna meet some friends at the gym. So I am actually gonna have to take the frownies off. I think that did kind of help. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Don't judge me, but I am gonna throw on a little bit of makeup to go on my workout just because I feel so grimy right now. The truth is, with how frantically I've been running around for the last six days, trying to get all the stuff together for the pageant, go out, buy all new dresses, new shoes, because the shoes I had didn't go with the new dresses that I bought. The new jewelry didn't go with the dresses that I bought. So everything had to be like done from scratch in a very short amount of time. And that has taken up like 90% of my energy. And a lot of things that I really should be focusing on I have not. And I don't think balance is about being able to give the exact same amount of time and attention to all the different areas of your life every single day or every single week or every single month. There are gonna be days where sometimes you have to pour more time and energy into one or two specific things and then other things get neglected. And then I think true balance comes from recognizing that and being able to swing back in the other direction once whatever you're focusing on right now is no longer so much of a priority or is no longer so urgent. And I definitely need to start doing that this week because I need to start taking better care of myself because I feel 
97 years old. I haven't seen a vegetable in days. So I'm gonna take myself out on a nice little run as my first step back into a vague sense of normality. You need more sleep and water and vegetables.